Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to learn how to create or how to use GraphQL using vanilla PHP. So without further ado, let's start. So let me just set up my index.php. Let me just get rid of the comments from our header because I'm going to reinstall the app because I'm going to replace the access token. So let me just save this and then make sure that you run your ngrok. And I'm going to update our install.php. So I'll just copy the secured URL and just replace this with the URL that we copied from the generated ngrok or the URL generated by ngrok. Hit save. And let's open our app. Should be the apps page. And let me just select the private. Where's the private app? This one. And then I'm going to open the app setup and I'll just update all of this. This one too. This one too. Click save. And once that's set up, I will just open my store. So select store. And you know what? I will just open my example store as well because I'm going to uninstall that. There you go. Let me just open the apps page. Let me just uninstall the private app. Click delete. And then let's just install the app in the um, example development store. Install app. There you go, it's installing. Click install app. And it should give us the following access token. Let's just copy this. I don't have a database, so I don't want to uh, save that in a database. So we can just copy that just for test purposes. And then here in the index.php, let's just save it here. Click save. And then let's just open the app right over here. Click refresh. And let's open the Shopify app. We can now close this. And it should also give us the access token here. There you go. Alright, so next stop, we need to um, get rid of the install header. Click save. Let's refresh our app again. There you go, we should have the following app. So this is the app that we created in the previous video. I think it's the um, installing Polaris to a Shopify app or Shopify app development project. But anyway, let's just continue. I'm going to create a new file. And I'll just call it graphql.php. But before we proceed, honestly, I'm going to open the functions.php inside of the INC folder. And here I'm going to duplicate this. So we're going to create another function for our GraphQL call. So let's just copy everything and just paste that below. And then instead of Shopify call, let's just call it Shopify underscore GQL. And then we need the access token. We need the shop. We need, we don't need the access or the API endpoint. We can just get rid of that because we're going to set that, set that up here in the um, URL variable. For the query, let's just leave it an array. For the method, we don't need that. For the request headers, we don't need it as well. So we can just get rid of all of this. So here we can just continue. Here in the URL, we're doing the HTTPS. We're concatenating the value of shop. And instead of API endpoint, let's just concatenate a string value and it should be the admin uh, forward slash API forward slash 2021 dash since we're already in April, we can just use the April, so 4. And then it should be graphql.json. I think that's correct, yeah. Alright, so we can just save this. And we can just get rid of this condition. So if it's not null, since we don't need to check this, if it's get or delete, we can just get rid of this. And then for the configuration for our curl, we can just get rid of this comment, this one too, I don't think we need that. For the connect timeout, we don't need that. For the method as well, we don't need that. For the setup headers, we also need to add another header and that is for the, um, for the content type. So here, let's just type content, make sure that the C is uppercase, hyphen and then type, colon and then should be application forward slash json we can just save this again next up is for our access token we need to um, concatenate that or add that to our request headers and then we're going to add the request header to the curl 
um, HTTP header. And then we also need, let me just copy this and then paste that below. And then we need to update or we need to use the post. I think we can just do that request headers. Yeah, I think we can just do it here. So it should be curl opt underscore post or post fields. I think it's this one. Yes, this one. And then we can just concatenate or just pass the query. But before before we pass that, we're going to use the JSON encode. So it should be underscore encode. And then we can just pass the query variable. And then we can just get rid of this. We don't need this, honestly. I think that's good. Or not yet. We need to use another curl set opt. So we can just copy this. Paste it underneath. And instead of and instead of post fields, we can use the curl opt underscore post. We can just set this to true. Yeah, true. Hit save. What else do we need? I don't think we need to um, customize more here. I think we're good now. Alright, so we can just save that and let's open the GraphQL.php. And in this file, we can just create, of course, PHP tag. We can just close it. And then first, let's just create the... Um, let's, you know what? Let's just try the GraphQL function. So, shop. It should be Shopify underscore GQL underscore call. And then here we're going to pass the access token, so it should be access underscore token. Next up is the shop URL variable. And then we're going to create a query variable later on. So let's just pass the query there. And then let's just save this and open the index.php. And here in the product table, instead of product table, we can just replace this with graphql.php that we created last time or a few minutes ago. We can just save this. I think that's good. GraphQL, GraphQL.php. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's open the GraphQL.php and here we can just echo out whatever is inside of the graph or whatever is in the whatever, whatever is the response of the function that we created. So echo print R. And then we're going to use the shop variable and I think it should be in the response key. So response. Because here in the functions we're passing the following values in the response. Alright, so response, make sure to end this with semicolon and then we're going to create the query variable. So above everything else, create the query and then we're going to create an array. And the key is, should be query. And then we're going to pass here a value. So the value is a string. It's going to be a GraphQL query. So I'm going to extract um, data from the shop and then I need something like the ID, the name, and then my email. So the query, that is the GraphQL query, or if you want to use mutation, this is where you can do that. So mutation and then whatever query you want to add here. So for now, let's just try and get the ID of the um, shop name and then the email address of the the merchant so we can just save this or right, so we get an error we forget the semicolon hit save again let's open our app hit refresh and there you go as you can see now we have the following data so data shop and we'll have the following and we have the following id gid shopify shop and then we have the name of the store we have the email of the merchant and so on and so forth so basically you can start using graphql here so let's open another let's open the apps page i'm gonna show you something so i have used the following graphql app or graphical app so you can install this i'll put the link in the view description below so here i have the following app and then we can just get rid of this as well as this you know what let me just copy this honestly Let's open our VS code. Let's just get rid of everything and replace that with a query that we copied from our graphical app. Hit save. Let's open our app. Hit refresh. And let's see the response. 
All right, so it says access denied for customers field. And the reason for that's because in our install, we're not using the access scope where we can access the customers. So I guess we can only access the orders as well as the products. So let's just change the, um, the query instead. So let's just open this. Let's just get rid of the customers as well as the shop. Let's try products. I forgot already how to do the products. So first... 10 I think and then it should be page info and then I don't think it's page info it should be node node or edges yeah edges and then node and then should be the um, ID and then the title and then description there you go just copy this Let's open our VS code, open the GraphQL, let's just replace the query. Hit save, let's open our app, hit refresh, and there you go, we should have the following product response. And there you have it, that's how you can use GraphQL using vanilla PHP without using any libraries or yeah, libraries to use GraphQL. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I will try to respond, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.